cardiac arrhythmias, and obesity research lab. I'm Kedar Aris, assistant professor in the Department of Physiology and Biophysics in the Jacob School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences at University at Buffalo. For this episode, I wanted to share my perspective on faculty dinner uh, during the on-campus visit uh, for tenure track faculty uh, interviews. So it's been a long day. Uh, you were on campus at eight o'clock in the morning and you had a whole day of one-on-one -on -one faculty meetings, perhaps job talk, job talk, and it's been one thing after the other, it's five o'clock in the evening or maybe even longer, you are mentally and physically exhausted. And they, as is the norm, uh, will invite you out to dinner with the uh, faculty members uh, from the department. Now, one would think that, okay, everything is done. This is just a final relaxing uh, uh, setting. Just you can let, you, let yourself lose. Uh, I would urge you not to do so. Because even if it's an informal setting, you're still being observed and you're still being interviewed uh, by the faculty members. In fact, uh, the mindset I took uh, for campus visits was the moment I stepped from my home, I was in interview mode where any interaction I had with anyone, be it the Uber driver or someone I met at the airport or landed at the airport, someone I met at the hotel reception, or made it to the campus, uh, talked to someone on campus, even if they were not listed on the itinerary schedule, I considered them to be a potential interviewer. Uh, and until I ended up back in my home from the campus visit, I did not let go of that mindset. So from the moment I left the home until I came back and entered my home from the campus visit, I was constantly in the mode of I could be being observed or being interviewed even if I don't know. So it might be a little paranoid, uh, but having that mindset helped me stay on my toes uh, at all times and be present and not let my guard down. And oftentimes I have seen, uh, now that I've been on the other side and I've had the opportunity to interview uh, faculty candidates uh, for the department, uh, is that oftentimes there's a little bit of slip up uh, during uh, faculty dinners uh, that can be a little tricky uh, to overcome. Uh, but it is a great opportunity uh, to answer or get answers to some of the questions that you may not have had, uh, weren't able to get answers to during the one-on-one -on -one faculty meetings. But it's the same format. Uh, you need to be prepared. Uh, do you have your spiel ready to talk about yourself, talk about your research, talk about your future plans, and then have a list of questions. And since this is an informal setting, uh, you probably could uh, get away with questions about, hey, what it's like to live in the city? Uh, what kind of internal funding perhaps uh, the university offers? Uh, what it's like to uh, manage work and life balance and any other questions that you could think of that you weren't able to get answers to uh, during the one-on-one -on -one faculty meetings. But again, be sure to realize that this is still an interview. Uh, it may appear informal, it may appear friendly, uh, and it is uh, for sure but you're still being interviewed, uh, you're still being observed, and the things you say and do could end up hurting you in the process, uh, in the decision-making process. Now, one last thing, and this is again a personal choice, uh, is you could be uh, invited to drink, uh, get a alcohol during dinner. Uh, if everyone else is drinking alcohol, sure, you could go uh, get alcohol if you want. Uh, but personally, I always chose not to have any alcohol uh, during uh, a recruitment dinner, mostly because I preferred to stay focused and present and couldn't afford uh, anything slipping uh, due to alcohol. Uh, so, but again, that's a personal choice. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but as a general etiquette, uh, don't ask for alcohol if nobody else around the table is. Uh, and if somebody, everyone else around the table is drinking beer or alcohol, sure, uh, you can avail yourself of uh, some too. Uh, but that's entirely your choice. So that essentially covers uh, 
the setting and the preparation for uh, dinner uh, with faculty members during the campus visit. Uh, the piece of advice, uh, stay present, stay engaging and uh, congenial, uh, and stay on guard. Uh, don't let the slip-ups happen. Uh, you're still being interviewed. You're still being observed. And take this as an opportunity uh, to ask about questions uh, about living in the city, uh, living uh, opportunities to uh, establish collaborations, uh, and any other research or technical questions you may feel uh, you that weren't answered uh, during the one-on-one -on -one faculty meetings. So that uh, covers this uh, episode's content. Uh, for the next few episodes, I'll be focusing on the job talk and the chalk talk and what it takes to prepare, uh, present, and deliver a successful job at chalk talk.